God, that's a fat piece of tuna too. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New York City. I want to give you guys a little heads up. I basically slept it all day today because I've been daily vlogging for like 15 days straight, so I was exhausted. But you know what I said? I'm gonna film a video anyway. So today we're doing convenience store sushi versus restaurant sushi here in New York City. I'm about to head into this convenience store behind me and jump in and get some sushi and try it out for you guys and compare it to some restaurant sushi. But before that, we gotta roll the intro. <laughs> I'm here with King of the Vlogs, Jacob Carlson. He's a little sick today, so he's not gonna be in the video, but I just wanted to say he's here. Go check him out, because he's great. He's helping me make this video possible. Thanks, buddy. Sponsor the episode, check out Jacob.webs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a convenience store I'm gonna head into. It's called a grab and go. They're advertising a buy one, get one free sushi deal. I checked in there, they're like five bucks for a piece of sushi or for like a little box of sushi. And they got a bunch of Japanese stuff. They actually have a whole Japanese section in the back that I'm gonna show you guys. But let's walk in there and get some sushi. All right, so they have like a California roll. Actually, okay, well, so I'm gonna get this. All right, we got our convenience store sushi, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Me and Jacob getting those discreet shots from the hip. <laughs> yeah. Not it, so discreet. It's so funny, whenever we're shooting in like restaurants or convenience stores or whatever, we always try to hide the camera so it's not too, you know, like over the top that we are filming. But we got our convenience store sushi right here. It's 15 bucks. I'll be completely honest, it doesn't actually look that bad, but the only thing is it is the end of the day right now, so I don't know how fresh this sushi is gonna be. You saw they have a whole Japanese section back there. It kinda looks like they make ramen and a bunch of other dishes, so we'll try it out. Let's see what happens. We'll compare it to a restaurant. Let's try the sushi. All right, so the point of this video is to kind of symbolize how easy it might be to hop in in New York City and get yourself some high quality sushi. I don't know if it's high quality per se. The place doesn't have crazy reviews, but this is what the sushi rolls look like. They, they actually look pretty decent for convenience store sushi, especially in the US. We got a salmon, avocado, and tuna roll here. Um, looks pretty good, this is called a rainbow roll. It's 13 bucks, and because it's buy one, get one free, you get this for 13 bucks, and then you get another roll that's like five bucks for free. So technically you're paying like, we're gonna pop into this, we're gonna try it. I got a side of spicy mayo and soy sauce as well to try. We're gonna try this out, guys. This is this is to give you a little taste of what street sushi in New York City might be like. All right, we'll just try. I don't like tuna, so I won't be a great judge of that. But we're gonna try the salmon first. I don't know why. Now that I'm holding it, it looks a little less appetizing. Here's our salmon rainbow roll convenience store sushi. We got some soy sauce on it. We got some spicy mayo. Here we go. Ready for the bite? Get close for this, okay? Get right into my mouth. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that salmon, um... That salmon was fighting me a little bit on the way down there. Oh, God. <laughs> um, that's probably the most bland salmon I've ever tasted in my entire life. Like, it doesn't taste foul. I've had sushi that tastes bad, like it tastes actually bad, it's just tasteless. Avocado was great on the other hand, but that salmon just not, not good. We're gonna have one more piece here with the salmon and avocado together. Um, kinda get a taste, and the spicy mayo, like I said, a little too spicy. <laughs> it's like they, they put a lot of spice in there. Let's try it. Yeah, it's not, I won't, oh. <laughs> Once again, it doesn't taste bad. It's just that going down like raw fish that doesn't have much flavor that's bland. At least in me, it kind of brings up a little guttural action. A little, a little bit of dry heaving potentially if I let it go on for too long. So that wasn't, <laughs> not a great experience. <clears throat> this I'm not looking forward to at all because I genuinely don't like raw tuna. I've tried it in a bunch of places. I tried it in Japan, tried it in Hawaii. I just don't like it, but we're gonna try it for the sake of the video. Cause we're here, we're doing this already. Let's try this out. God, this is a fat piece of tuna too. Here we go. Mm. 
My heart's beating really fast right now. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Once again, it, like it didn't have a foul flavor. These are just look like you could see. There's not. There's doesn't. None of this looks fresh. It, it None of it looks like over the top good. Even the the streaks of fat on the salmon are like barely visible. It looks like it might be old. It might have been sitting in that fridge for a few days. Um, but that being said, the avocado, fantastic. Like looks great. The imitation crab on the inside doesn't taste bad. It's a fat roll. The rice might not be the best thing in the world, but it is what it is, right? All right, our next roll is a classic American California roll. Seaweed on the inside, avocado, cucumber, and cani or imitation crab. We got our soy sauce. I'm gonna skip the soy sauce for this one because it's just, everybody knows Kikoman soy sauce, average soy sauce. And we got our spicy mayo. Let's dip it in. Let's try it out. Here we go. Three, two, five, seven, two, one. I gotta say, it's actually not bad. Um, the imitation crab is not very good. I've had better imitation crab, but once again, imitation crab is like factory made fish. So I, I don't really know if I can fault them for it. The cucumber tastes like old cucumber that's been sitting inside of a roll for a little while. But the avocado is pretty great. And that's the thing that not many sushi places get right. Yeah, there we go. That is our convenience store sushi. It is now time to jump to a sushi restaurant, an official sushi restaurant, where we can get some fresher sushi and compare the flavors right here in New York City. So we have jumped to a neighborhood called Greenwich Village. Here I am by a restaurant called Okini. We are going to have dinner here with a bunch of friends and I'm going to compare the sushi to the convenience store sushi that we had. Should be good, this place has really good reviews. It looks delicious, it's a local spot. I didn't want to choose something that was over the top so it would blow the other one out of the water, but I also didn't want to choose something that was too low. So, right in the middle zone. So we're gonna hop on in there, get some sushi. Yeah. The Chinese sushi restaurant? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have come to the restaurant. I've looked on the menu and basically they're selling the same exact rolls that I got in the convenience store, the rainbow roll and the California roll for almost the same exact price. The California roll was $5.95, so just under six bucks. And then the rainbow roll was $13.50. So with tax and tip, it'll probably come out to almost the same exact price if it was a buy one, get one free. But in this situation, we're not buying one, get one free. So I ordered my rolls. We're gonna get in a second. I'll be tasting for you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our sushi feast. So, we got a standard California roll, and then we got our rainbow roll here in the back. I think the difference, the only difference between this rainbow roll and the one we got at the convenience store is that actually, instead of having just avocado, tuna, and salmon, we have white fish. Here we go, this is our California roll. Standard avocado, imitation crab, and some cucumber. This one, instead of having just a piece of cucumber, is diced cucumbers uh, into little rectangles. So let's try it. Eel sauce, one side. Spicy mayo on the other. And here we go, three, two, one. Mm, much better. You know what? Wow, that's a difference. You can tell those ingredients are fresh. You can definitely tell that there's a sushi chef who just made it. Once again, it might not be the most amazing sushi in the world, but there is a huge difference there in the quality of the sushi. I think uh, where it hits is in the rice and then the avocado specifically. I mentioned that the avocado for the other rolls was good, but I think these are even better. And the rice, you could tell, you could tell that rice was just put on there by the uh, sushi chef in the back. We got our speed round, so we're gonna do tuna, salmon, and whitefish. We're gonna start with the salmon, because that's my favorite. Salmon on there. There's quite a bit of fat. You can see those streak lines, they look more defined. And we got some avocado on it. Let's try it. This is gonna be a delicious roll. I can already smell, it smells pretty fresh. A little bit of eel sauce. A little bit of spicy mayo. 
see how it compares to the convenience store. Mm. See that one, that's... Yeah. Squish it around in my mouth a little bit. It tastes good. Distinct flavor that salmon leaves on in your mouth. And it's a little bit fishy, but it's a little bit fatty. That's what I really like about eating salmon. It's not too much fish. It tastes more like fat, more like normal meat. And I got that there. With the other one, it was just kind of like a slime, a little bar of slime sliding down your throat. Not a good taste, not a good feeling. This one is delicious. I could actually recommend somebody to come here and get it. And I don't think for the price, it's too overpriced for getting. But I am excited to try the white fish now. So let's try a little white fish. And inside, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's just a, a California roll. An imitation crab, avocado, and cucumber. Let's try that little bit of eel sauce. You guys know the drill? A little bit of spicy mayo. And here comes the bite, ready? Okay. It's pretty good. Once again, the inside tastes almost the same as the California roll, because it is basically a California roll. I do like the taste of the whitefish. It's more bland and less hardcore fishy than tuna. Here we go, guys. Tuna. Eel sauce. We got eel sauce. We got that spicy mayonnaise. We got it in our mouth full. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, tuna. That's good, actually. That's actually really good. Um, I was expecting to not like that at all, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And that is just excellent. Fantastic. I'm very happy with the results of this experiment. We're going to go outside and give you guys our final thoughts in just one moment. I don't leave my radius unless I'm vlogging. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have exited the sushi place. I'm with my whole gang of friends. I'm not vlogging any of them, though, because they don't need to be in this video. Basically, that was a, a great experience. I hope that kind of showed you guys a little bit of what it's like to eat convenience store sushi or restaurant sushi here in New York City. You can get the best of both worlds. It's interesting that the prices were almost exactly the same, but because that one sushi place was doing that buy one get one free special, it was half off. I ended up paying, I think, 26 bucks or just under 27 bucks for a dinner of sushi here at the restaurant. So it is a little bit pricey, definitely not on the budget side, but if you want to get some budget sushi, a little bit less good flavor, a little bit less uh, detail in the flavoring, you can get some at the uh, convenience store sushi. I do want to teach you guys something new, like I have been every single day. And you're gonna get a little factoid. What I wanted to teach you guys is that once upon a time in Japan, a very long time ago, sushi was briefly used for a certain period of time as currency. So, if you value the price that you're putting on the sushi that you're eating, you could be using it as currency with your friends and family, maybe. But besides that, I want to know from you guys in the top, would you guys try a little challenge like this? Would you go to a convenience store or would you go to a restaurant? What would be your pick? Choose it up here on the poll on the top of the screen. And we're going to end that video there. I love you guys so, so much. I love you long time. If you guys want to support this channel, you can check out links to buy the merch down below on the screen. Anywhere you guys want to support the channel by buying some merchandise. We'll see you in the next one. I love you long time. Goodbye, class.